uploading memories, recording dreams. We can, quote, do all of the above. This is no longer science fiction. You go to the physics laboratories, and you can see how images can be extracted from the human brain, how it's possible now that we can upload memories in animals and record memories from animals, because physics can now probe thoughts as they go ricocheting through the brain. Is what you're describing the same thing as consciousness? Because if that's the case, then we can say, it's not just our thoughts that live forever, it's our very identity, our self, our conscious self that lives forever. Well, there is a theory that says the soul. The soul is information. It's a vast amount of information, but nonetheless, it's information that can be put into holographic form, such that even if you pass away, something there is, is survives. But theoretically, that is effectively immortality. Once you reach that point, that is you living forever.